how to back up your Windows PC properly. I'm going to show you three methods for backing up your hard drive data, which if you use all three methods, you will be covered for every possible eventuality or problem that you could come across. And all three methods are already installed on your Windows 7 or Vista PC, netbooks, laptops, and desktops. If you have a Windows 8, this process is slightly different. And there is a link on my website for that set of action step videos. All you need is a USB external hard drive with about twice the capacity of your PC's hard drive. So if you have a 250 gigabytes hard drive, then you will need a 500 gig external USB hard drive, which you can purchase for around 60 euros or $80. This price can change due to demand. And so prices go up or down accordingly. So method number one is creating a systems image, which you access in backup and restore panel. And method two is backing up, which is set on a schedule also accessed in backup and restore. And the third method is the simple method of cut and paste or copy and paste, depending on what you are trying to achieve. Examples would be cleaning up your PC's hair drive or just making copies of some of the data. I am just going to explain method one, the systems image method. And I will not be showing you how to use it in this video because the other two methods have to be applied before you run a systems image. Basically to give you a cleaner and smaller version of a systems image. So it will run quicker when you need it. Now that brings me to the point that by right you should use the full version of my complete PC care system so that your PC is in perfect working order and that the systems image you make will be in perfect working order when it's required. By the way, if you have signed up for the complete guide for what every computer owner should do, action step 11 and action step 12, then you have access to the video on how to create and run a systems image also. So what is a systems image? Well, a systems image is a complete copy of everything that makes up a PC. This systems image is a working and exact copy of your entire computer, which you can use to fix any software problem, including viruses, Windows errors and crashes when they are caused by software. And you also have a fix for all hard drive problems, which is the cause of most PC problems and all you have to do is run a systems image to get your PC up and running again. And if it is a thing that, and not uncommon, after three to five years, your internal hard drive fails. And all you have to do is replace the hard drive and run your systems image. And you will have a fully functional PC again. So I hope you can see how important it is to make a systems image. Now this moves us on to this video. Why would you use any other method other than a systems image? Well, it is true that if you make a systems image once a day, then you are covered for every problem mentioned earlier. But it takes time to make a systems image, which is typically one hour for the average hard drive of say 250 gigabytes. And you need to set it up to run automatically. If you want this method, just drop me an email and I will send you the information you need to do that. So the main reason why you would want to use the other two methods is because you don't need to be making systems images every other day. You only need to make a systems image once every three to six months or when you make changes to your PC system, like you install new software program or app and you want to include the new software program in your systems image so that it too will be present 
after you run your systems image. Another reason you would create a new systems image would be if you had a lot of updates for programs or Windows 7. And that's why I recommend making one every three to six months. So if you decide to make a systems image every day, then you will need to manage the images on the external USB hard drive because the systems image will be very large. For example, the average 250 gigabyte PC system hard drive will have a systems image file size of about 140 gigabytes. So you can only have your PC make three systems images on a 500 gigabyte external USB hard drive. So you will need to manage every three you make and you will have to remove at least one. So this is a complete waste of time and waste of external hard drive space. So a better way is to set up a backup properly with smaller daily backups and then you have a proper backup system that needs no management at all. You see the key here is once you make a systems image you have a way of recovering your system from the time you made the systems image but all the data that you have filed and saved on your PC after the day you make the systems image will not be on the systems image that you made say six months previous. So what you do is you set up a backup of the data that you need on a regular basis, like important documents you are working on on a daily basis and save them to a single folder and simply save that folder every day. And in this way, you have a complete copy of your important files that you are working on on a daily basis. Now, as for other data files that are important, but not updated on a regular basis like pictures, tax returns, documents, CVs, movies, estimates, bills, downloads, receipts, music, possibly some games or anything else you do not use on a regular basis can be removed from your PC and placed on the external drive and or USB flash drives or thumb drives. And all these data files can be opened and used from the external devices. So let's jump into it and show you how to set up and run a proper backup for your PC. And I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Action step number 11.